Now function point based estimation. For that first you have to know about the function point analysis that we have already discussed. You can just revisit previous chapters and get an idea of that. But I'll give you an idea here also. First there are five information domain value or input parameters. For a computer the problem is there is a computer aided design software we have to develop and this a software package which is to be developed for computer aided design application for mechanical components. So first we write this code. All these statements we bound it and we refine it and try to take out the functions which we have to make. So certain functions we have taken out from the project scope. So these functions we have decided. These are the functions I'm talking about. That is, you have to make a user interface, 2D uh, geometric analysis, 3D geometric analysis, database management. You have to do. You have to do the computer graphics display facilities, uh, peripheral control functions, design analysis modules for us. CAD CAD software you have to do all these functions these are nothing but function points because function points are what basically you are trying to find out the functions the so decomposition of FP based estimation focuses on the information domain values which are these five values okay so external in inputs external outputs external inquiries internal logical files external interface files now if you see that the the table here we already found out the optimistic, optimistic, likely and pessimistic value. And let me just uh, put that uh, these three take take these three values of one row. So first one is twenty. Add it with the fourth multiplication or multiply it by four, the middle one, most likely plus thirty divided by six. So you get twenty-four. So this is the estimated count. Now you have to multiply it with the weight. The weight is already there. There is already a matrix of uh, low, average, and high. This, these are these are matrix, and you can say you are taking the middle one. So low, average, complex. You can take any one of these. I am taking say average. So now multiply the this uh, fourth column with fifth column and write it on the last column. And the finally multiplied value, you just add them. You get three twenty. So this is your function points. Now these function points 320 because uh, there is a formula for function points these are not function point right now these are just count but the basic function count there is a way we have to add the uh, value adjustment factor also. So this is just a count total this is not function point. So this is just count total function point has a proper formula because the adjustment factor have to be computed by these there are 14 values and we gave value each of them from 0 to 5 any value depending upon the weight of uh, these factors in your project. So the five final formula is this one. Count total into 0 0.65 plus 0 0.01 into sigma fi. Sigma fi is nothing but 1.17. Okay. And then we have this uh, to count total which is going to be 320. Multiply here, add, you get 375. Now we got the function point. The function point already we have seen so you can just revisit. But right now the 375 is our function points. Now the organizational average productivity for system of this type in different different uh, organization, the average value is 6.5 function point per person month. This we have got historically or from other organization, from other studies you can say. Now the labor cost is 8000 per month, burden labor rate. So the cost per FP, cost per function point is what? See, 8000 is the, the dollars and divided by 6.5, what do you get? 1230. So the cost per FP function point is uh, around 1230, 1230. Now we have already known the FP estimated. So total estimated project cost will be what? This is 375. And just multiply it with uh, your 1230. So you will get 461000. So 461,000, this will be the cost, total estimated project cost. How to get the person month? For that, you already know this is 375 and just divided with the 6.5, already given that. So you get 58, it will be actually 57.69 and assume it to be 58. 58 person month will be the value. So this is an example of FP based estimation.